welcome to the Stay at Home Shopping Network. We go live every Thursday at 4 p.m. We show you what's new, what we've had for a while, but it's on sale, and uh, do some stay at home shopping. Everything you see today can be purchased at Jamie Ray Vintage home.com don't mind the primer uh, we had a primer accident yeah zeb was opening it and i was the casualty as well as my cabinets but so we're not we, talking about that right now but we can it was sitting in my truck well, we and can. it was hot well, we can. it was sitting in my truck and it was hot and it had built up a little bit of pressure and i had no idea and so when i popped the top off there the seal it went all over the place Including the cabinets, dishwasher, and the dishwasher, my cabinets. The dishwasher came clean. The cabinets need to be done. You actually have some. Uh, yeah, my my safety glasses, my my tinted ones, have primer all over them. Yeah. <laughs> Let me pull up. So today's going to be a little interesting. We'll have to be patient with Mariah because stuff is all over the place. Um, the gals are just pulling up stuff that we've had for a while or stuff that we haven't put on. So it may be a little interesting finding it all. We've got tiny little skulls. On a string. Skulls on a string. They're skull beads. You can use them to make necklace, decorate for Halloween. Um, they are a vintage style skull bead. Skull bead. Let's see, vintage skull bead, $12.95. And these you get fun. all of the, not just one skull, but every skull on the strand for $12.95. If you're real into Halloween, I know a lot of you are. These are perfect. I think they'd be cool like in a bowl like M&M's. Lolly says makes Mexican niches. And then uh, Shelly says, I'm just happy to be here with y'all. San Antonio's checking in. Leslie said that happened to her and her brand new first green truck with white latex. Oh no. I had some paint spill in my exhibition the other day, but it spilled in a box and I caught it before it got on the carpet. Okay, uh, are so, we ready for the next yeah, thing? Yeah, so these are actually sold in a set of four. They're ceiling tins. They're actual old ceiling tins that were picked from a tobacco farm in Tennessee. I needed these the other day when I was going to fix the dough bowls. Oh, I forgot about that. So I might have to that. keep a couple of these around for myself. So they're all different, authentic, and good, and crusty. You get four ceiling tins. Four! Not one, not two, but four ceiling tins for the low, low price of $12.95. I think these would be make great signs with like something stenciled on there and then framed. Absolutely. I think they would be really cute. Now, they are um, actual tins, so careful when you pull them out of the box because they've got sharp edges. But I love them because we sell a ton of replica ceiling tiles. But these are legit crusty. They're all this silvery gray tone, but they're all just slightly different. And why get one when you can have a set of four? Well, that didn't work out. Matthew says, got our new stencils today. Can't wait to use them. All right. The new stencils are out and people are starting to use them. And if you watched Wednesday's video, I guess that's yesterday already. Whew, man. Wednesday was only yesterday. <laughs> so next up, we have the wood scoops. These are perfect for fall because they're the dark stained wood. You're going to see as people transition into fall, dough bowls are going to be really popular. Any like handmade wood items that kind of have those brownish amber tones. So the wood scoops are all handmade, but so they're all slightly different. They, so, show. so they do have some variation. It depends on the size of the wood looks like that they were carving them with. They do look... They're, they're handmade. Um, they look mostly carved by uh, non-electrical tools. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. We didn't I want to say hand tools, but electrical tools can we be We just know that still. they are handmade by somebody. And they are $19.95 each, and they're all dark stained. Like, I would consider a jigsaw a hand tool. Yeah. <laughs> and they're good. You could use them for scoops for grain or whatever. Like feed. This is about the right but size for my cereal bowl. I need, like, a <laughs> scoop in the cereal for this. I was just going to say you could put a cute floral arrangement with some pine cones in there. Or you could scoop your cereal. Nobody's judging. Oh, sorry, I went the other way on you. <laughs> you could use them in the kitchen with flour for sure. You might want to seal them with like some hemp oil or something just to give them a little bit more of a finish. But yeah, absolutely. Here's the thing about cereal. If I'm not eating granola, I have never found a cereal that really will uh, stay with me for more than an hour or two. So when I sit down, it's like a full meal situation. I get a big, almost mixing bowl size. Harrington is the same way. 
He eats a half a bag to a bag of cereal in one sitting. Half Not a gallon of milk. He's trying to get down to 184 for wrestling. So we're, I just sent him protein shakes in his little care package. No so, sugar. So this is farmhouse 1917 wood, but we put some fun little we birds on it. We put a bird there. on it, three of them. And not then, one, not two, but three birds. And then it's got some repurposed hooks that we found. They were on another little shelf or uh, hook holder. I don't even know. I would probably drill through to the studs, or you could put a French cleat on it. It, it is $16.95. Jack actually painted and stenciled that like it's been a, a while. long time it's been ago. sitting in the shop. And it finally got all the way finished. Actually, I don't know. It hasn't been in the shop. It doesn't have a price tag on it. Nope, they just barely photographed it and put it up there today. So what happened today is um, Jean and Cam and Christy, um, they went shopping in my studio. So that's how everything, because I was priming floors. This is new, mini Charleston window. We have the big ones, but this is the first time that we've had the mini one. Um, we've had a hard time getting a hold of the smaller windows. We have a ton of big ones, so I was excited to find this one. It's got the diamond shape. It's the perfect size for like a 10 to 12 inch wreath. Um, and it would be really cute with a wreath for the holidays. This so. is just a glimpse of what some greenery and it combined could look like. You, you know, you have a career <laughs> in design. I see a, that. That's a lot of greenery. Next up, olives. Designing what's up? <laughs> $28.95 for that Charleston window. But since you pulled it out, uh, let's talk about the olive tree, uh, olive bush. I actually don't know what the official word for that. I'm just going to search the word olive and see what comes up. Well, olives do grow on trees, so this is just a small tree. I mean, it's a, how big would you say? It's, it's a potted olive plant, and we have one of them, and it's $38.95. Show them your forearm just so they can see. It's big. Handcrafted potted olive topiary. The dimensions are not in the listing. But you can see, clearly, it's larger than Zeb's forearm to his fingertips. It's about 20 inches tall. Zeb knows the length of all of his, what is this arm? I have to length. do a lot of measuring on the fly. This is true. This is true. Do we ship to the islands? Which islands? Like Hawaii? Because we do, to Hawaii. We ship to the U.S. If you're outside the U.S., you got to email info at jamierayvintagehome.com with what you want, and then Caitlin can get you a custom quote. All right. This is Hawaii. probably... Hawaii, yes, we ship to Hawaii all the time. It's probably one of my favorite new things that we've got. It's kind of cool, and it involves two things that Zeb loves, Man. which are... Laundry and hooks. You don't love laundry or hooks. You love metal and welding. I was like, I don't love laundry. <laughs> You hate laundry. But it, it it has a very industrial vibe. Let me put it in front of this so you can actually see it good. We'll show you these pictures in a minute. How Here many hooks go. does it come with? It has five hooks. Oh, good. It's $29.95. Careful because we're selling those. Don't bend them. I'm not bending them. There you go. Now you can see it good. Picture on your cute. That would look good on a wall or the back of a door or something. It has two little holes so you can just screw it right into wherever you need it to be. It's got washers that have been welded on here. I would use it to like hang bras and bathing suits, things that you don't want to put in the dryer. But. Always messing with stuff. It's slightly crooked so Zeb's got to fix it. Sorry, my eye gets All right, going. Alright, let's talk I'm about like, those oh. prints. Let's see if they're listed under print. I don't know what they listed them under. Oh, there's a lot under the word print. Hold on, wait for it. There's three. Is there three? It comes as a set of three, or are they individual? I don't, what did they call these? They didn't call them a print. They're sold as a set of three. Hold on, guys, sorry. I don't know what they called them. I knew this was gonna be a struggle. I, Mariah won't, maybe Mariah will find it, but I don't even maybe know. Maybe they're not live. It. No, they're listed. We'll give you the close-up deal. These are just... Jean, what did you call this? <laughs> is it Little Look Girl? Look up picture. So somebody wanted to buy these a million years ago and I couldn't find them. Nope. Do I we have... only have these three? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, I'm... go to another item while I look at them. Show okay. them the license plates. 
Well, we've had the license plates and they were marked down. Did they get marked down again or are they still marked down? Looks like our pile is much smaller than it was last time. They are marked down even more for the low, low price of, of eight forty five. dollars These also would have worked to repair my dough bowl. Please buy my old license plates. Because I'm going to start using them. Because Zeb's going to start using them and I'm not really sure what he's going to do with them. I thought they were cool. But I'm gonna I'm gonna put them on that window with the olive bush. Jean says set of three vintage prints. Vintage Did Mariah print. already find it? Print didn't bring anything up. I oh, know I searched the word print. I don't see. Okay, she found the license plate. Eight forty five. Let me find those prints. These are used. They come complete with road salt. That's just gonna shuffle through them. I think I went through them all more than once. All right, I'm gonna set the prints aside. A set of three vintage. Apparently you also have to put the word print in there. Hold it, don't set them aside, I'm almost there. Do you almost have it? There is not a set of three vintage prints. Okay, so we're just teasing you with these. These are actually gonna stay with me for a while. Mariah, I couldn't find the prints either, so I may not have saved it. We had customers. So if you want those prints after the live, we will put them on the website for the low, low price of $14.95 for all three prints. You'll have to wait. <laughs> I don't know what she was going to sell them for, but there we go. We're in, all right. Did we show this clock a while ago? I think we showed it before. Is it on sale? Um, I don't remember. I don't know. Jean says Shopify and I are not friends today. We're going to move the clock aside. Mariah, it's the a, clock It's a Monday on a Thursday. Next. I know it is a Monday on a Thursday. Zeb left, and I was finishing priming the floors, and I was ready to come here, and the keys were locked in my car. And so I was, like, hot and sweaty and ready to leave, and I had to wait. Oh, bedside clock, nine ninety five. for this cute little clock here. All right. Now we can talk about the spools in the room. I think we showed these when we were walking around the store, but I don't know that we showed them... Um, they've even still got the stickers no, on what kind of thread. we didn't show these, they just came in. Oh, these are new, okay. Yeah, eleven ninety five, And they're all slightly different in coloring, but the same style and chippy, they're industrial spools. You can see where they fit on the machine. Yep. Um, we have quite a few of them, so if you need a bunch for a project, we've got you covered. They are actually vintage antique spools. I don't know exactly how old, but they're fairly crusty, so I'm going to go with old-ish. And uh, for the low, low price of eleven ninety five, you can have a crusty spool. Now you're like, why would I want a crusty spool? Tell them what they could do with it. Well, architectural salvage is always fun. It brings like a nice warmth to your home and your decor. But what I would do with these is I would probably get like a wood charger or like a disc or something, marry them together, and then now you get yourself a sweet pedestal. I think it would look cool with yarn or twine on it, and they are actually, they are wood. They are not metal spools, and this up here is like some sort of rubber. Oh, I don't even, it's maybe, it might all be wood and they just painted it. That feels like rubber. What do you think? Uh, it's hard to say. Yeah, it's cracked there. Maybe plastic at the, at the most, but they, I think they're wood. Okay, well the rest is wood for sure. This is an unknown substance. So if you really want to know for yourself, you're going to need to buy one. Yeah. It's like the, where the gear goes in to turn no, the spools spool. are really popular. They look really cute. If you have a big dough bowl, spools are cute to like put a couple in a dough bowl with your, some greenery and flowers or seasonal decor. You know, when we were in France, they had a ton of these displayed with like hundreds of bright colors of yarn and string and things on there. And it was the coolest looking display I'd ever seen. Yep. Oh, somebody asked if we finished the tile. I did. I haven't sealed it yet, but it is tiled. I actually wound up sanding it and repainting it. I have a video that I will be editing later tonight that will go up tomorrow, probably before we leave for California, and you'll get to see all the struggles. We pre the, the, because the we care about you guys, we pre-shot tomorrow's video, and we are pre-recording our Saturday thrift haul, so you won't miss any videos, even though we're going to California. Yep. All right. These. I feel like we just had these in the other day. Are these these are newly thrifted, but now they're up on the site. Um, yeah, but the thing is, if they were newly thrifted, they might have already been on there anyway. The, so what, might have Jean, what did you call these? Candlesticks. Squatty. Short. Short. Fat. Pewter. Silver. All the descriptive words. Oh, let's see if I can find them. 
Wait for it. Wait for it. The problem is they went through and got rid of a bunch of stuff. And so there's some things that are kind of, I don't know, missing. Mariah, can you find those candlesticks? I'm going to let her look. Let Mariah look that up. And we'll talk about. The lantern is next. Okay, let's see if I can find the lantern. I was going to find something. It originally there. probably had a place for two or three of these little uh, lamp, uh, candle holders. But it's missing one, so it's only got two in there. How did you know there's originally three? Because there's a place to hang a third one up in the top. If you look inside like this, you can see... Well, and because it looks a little odd to me, like, they're over to the side. Not over to the Whatever. If it were me, I would take those dumb things out of there and decorate the inside. Yeah. You can do whatever you want for the low, low price of $39.95. All right. We're winning. We had something in there. I like metal and wood, and it's like a like a wet kind of dry brush distress situation. You can see all the detail in there. Yeah, so there you go. There's the lantern. I love how Zeb points out the negatives. Like there was three, but there's only two and they're kind of off center. Well, I was gonna what do you like what, what you said. I was going to keep going and tell them, hey, pull these out and put a big one in. Oh, so were you doing like the sales tactic where you like talk about the negatives and then you up the positives? Yes. There we go. There was never going to be a negative. I was just going to turn it into a positive. Oh, only a positive. So they said it's a Pier 1 lantern, which makes it even more valuable because they're out of business. It's like... It is a Pier 1 lantern. <laughs> Phase 2. Phase 2? Woo-hoo! There, I'm showing this. All right, let's talk about the water pitcher in the room. We have been sold out of water pitchers for quite a while. We have two in stock. They are actually legit old. Um, let's see, water can. Is that watering can? Antique galvanized watering can. Found it. $49.95. When you get it, that will come off. You just slide it on. Comes complete with authentic crust, rust, and uh, dirty, but they, you could actually use them. Yeah, this one doesn't isn't rusted all the way through on the bottom that I can tell. No daylight. They're really popular to put a bunch of like greenery or like you could put evergreen for Christmas or fall leaves or whatever in them. I actually, if you, you look up... You could even just load this end you, up with dirt and plant in it. If you look up the listing, I use Sasha's picture from Sweet Pickens. Look how cute that is. See, you could do that with your watering cans. Just look up water can, Mariah. So I if you need it. a light mist, you have this nozzle. If you need full force water, you can pull that off. Like when you spill primer everywhere or? Like, like then, that's when you need the full force. It's listed under antique galvanized water can. Oh, hold on. It's not available on the online store. That is why Mariah could not find it. We have got to get her login so she can log into the back end of stuff. I'll share the link. I think it's because we were out of them, so I hid it, so that way people didn't see a listing that was sold out. Yeah, we don't want to sell stuff that we can't get more of. That's right. All right, there we, we go. We try hard to not. Oh, I should show you this on the top of this one. Oh, look, Jean found it. Set of tarnished pewter candlesticks. See, we wait, people find stuff. All right, I put the link for the watering can in there. All right, tarnished pewter. It's a lot of words. There we go, set of tarnished pewter candlesticks, found them. So we have this carnival hold dish on, with- Hold on, I just found the candlesticks, we gotta show them to them now. Oh, those ones. Where did I set those? I don't oh. know, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but you're not following my cues. I wasn't. I am snapping, I shouldn't snap at you. Never works well. Okay, 1995, sorry about that. I respond best to snapping because I'm hard of hearing. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like the, it's like the tone that can reach me. Okay, these. Oh, that's funny. These ones here. It's like dog, like a dog whistle. Oh, Mariah put the link <laughs> in there as soon as we showed them. Well, I didn't. Oh, see well, it. see, you missed it. I try to like talk soft, but then I was like, what did you say? You're mumbling. <laughs> it's good that your here, voice let's put that over there. carries well. My, That's probably the nicest thing anybody's ever said about my voice, that it carries well. <clears throat> I like it. All right, let's pull up this basket situation. We've got a tiny little baby basket. A tiny little baby basket. It's really cute. I like the style of it. So with baskets, it's all about 
like the way that it looks for me. Like if it's just like your standard basket, meh. but then I like the way it's woven in there. This one's ten ninety five, and it's got a really cool braided detail. It's, it's like really chunky. sturdy because of how thick the uh, reed or whatever they use to weave this. Okay, now can I show the, the... Tanya, will you go live or video while we're at the opening? So we're going to be videoing while we're at the grand opening. We will go live from Facebook, not on YouTube, because we already have our scheduled videos. But we're going to video, and probably next week we'll include some of that footage in our videos. So. Yep. What, what? Les wants a shout-out. Hey, what's Feel up, better, Les? Les? All right. So, so I think it would be fun for me to go through Debbie's shop and, like, narrate it. Talk about it. Tell Zeb's perspective on Zeb's Debbie's Zeb's perspective shop. of Debbie's boho. That She's done some really cool stuff in there. I'm excited to go see it. Um, Wendy, if you, you can absolutely pick up anything that you buy from us um, at the shop during regular business hours. Just click local pickup. All right, so this is a Carnival Glass Taper Candle Holder. It's eight ninety five. dollars I would probably use this for like a ring or jewelry holder next to the sink. Yeah, I don't, I mean, you could put a candle on it, but I think it's pretty just as is. Maybe a candy you could, dish. You could put like the backs to your earrings in the center where the candle's supposed to go. Um, Yanni, if you want to sell those stencils that I um, wholesale, you can just go to jrvwholesale.com. All the information is there. All, All right. right, carnival dish with scalloped edge is what this is called. Yep, it's already we already talked about it. Eight ninety five. Good. Good. Mariah had the price. We're I've been showing it for talk, like ten minutes. Let's talk about joggers. Joggers. So we got new joggers, guys. All of our joggers are nineteen ninety five with free shipping. Um, they come in varying sizes. I'm not really sure what all of these. This like. is a small. Yep. And look at this. This is the. These aren't necessarily new. What size is this one? medium but this is perfect for halloween these are our sheer school joggers all of them are super soft cotton except for the velour ones are a little different fabric they all have pockets and then they don't have like this um elastic they have cuffs i hate the elastic because it's cut soft they're, they're not pegged at your ankle but i love joggers with cuffs because i hate it when i'm in bed and my pajama pants right up this and keeps this, them from riding up, but still circulation. You end up wake up in the morning and you can't feel your toes because your pants are up around your knee and it's cutting off circulation. <laughs> Do you wear a lot of joggers? I don't wear joggers. Zeb sleeps far. in his underpants. I'm like, and then when the kids come knock on the door, he's like, oh, I don't have any clothes on. I can't answer the door. And I'm like, could you sleep in pajamas? Five children later. They can wait until I'm <laughs> ready for them to enter. All right, so I'm super excited about the plaid. These I bought specifically for fall and Christmas because I think they look really cute with fall shirts or a fun orange sweater. Or if you have a Christmas shirt, the plaid just goes for both seasons. And you could wear them year-round. I mean, buffalo plaid's always good. Okay, wait for it. A new floral. In fall colors, what? You could, you could coordinate with your home decor. Yeah, I love me some floral i will be wearing joggers to and from california because you can nap in them also acceptable to go out in public i like clothes that are uni universal uni utilitarian is that the word there you go there you go all right next we have camo, camo. we've had these before but they were sold out i i might lose you if you wear these because I'll blend into the cream leather in the expedition. Sure. And wait for it. Crescent Moon says she's gonna wear Donna. Do, that's Donna. She's gonna be wearing joggers all fall and winter, probably because I think she owns every pair we have. New tie dye, and these come in plus size, friends, because this is a one X. I always pick up plus size whenever I can get them. So these are the new plus size selection. Aren't they cute? Adorable. Yep, Leslie, these ones, these tie-dyes are in plus size. I'm not sure which other ones are, but if you go to JRV Closet at jamierayvintagehome.com, you can check plus size, and it'll tell you everything that comes in plus size. Oh, Crescent Moon's ordering the new tie-dye now. I hope they come in regular sizes, too. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I try to buy, like, all the sizes, but not everything comes in both. All right. So we have a couple of these. Not not the Fire King dish. I think we recently showed that. Not that so one. It was this, a different one. Oh, a different style. Do. These we've been out of stock for a while, and these are the some um, 
pedestals. I was going to say cement columns, but they're not. They are antique Arch columns. columns. No, they're There's antique. another one down here. It's called Column Base, seventy nine ninety five. This is Column Base D, ten and a half by eleven by nine. Is that the one on the bottom? Yeah. That, well, that's this one. So we have. This like one. We have six available. So we're only showing you a couple. We have six available. We actually have four that are in the chippy white. And which letter is this one? This is E. E. And these, and they're hand carved. I didn't paint them. These are kind of the original worn paint finish. And the, which letter is this one? I think it's down in the hole. That's D. D. And this is what? It might be, yeah. So that's D. And then this is E. Oh, D and E. All right. There you go. Yep. These are awesome and you can use them to like stage up something. I think they would be so cute with a like a potted Christmas tree on them. Oh, yeah. This one actually has a little bit of green poking like put through. It, put it on like a little coffee table it's or an end table or something. It's kind of like aviary green. You probably can't see that, but it's chipping through the paint finish. I could probably so, bring it close mm -hmm. so they could see it. Yeah, these have, were way popular and I couldn't get a hold of any of the chippy white and we got four chippy whites. We basically whites. for about a month bought all that our picker had and now she's got a couple more in and they're all uh hand carved oh my shirt let's see thank you mariah just linked my shirt okay let's see these are heavy <laughs> lolly or somebody where did they say donna's we should have auto ship for donna we could do like the joggers of the month club <laughs> hey you might have something there i like it like Lisa said, I came into the shop today for the first time to pick up your order. Good thing you came. You had some things waiting for you. And she says, oh my goodness, such a beautifully curated shop. Not to mention Jean is so kind. Love it, Jamie. Jean is a total sweetheart. We call her the shop mom because everybody, everybody loves Jean. My kids come here and they tell Jean their stories. <laughs> she's just sweet. All right. Woven stainless steel basket. A tarnished, so actually not stainless steel. It's tarnished silver. Sorry. $12.95. I've not seen one like that before, and I love baskets, especially for the holidays, so this would be really cute on a coffee table, or if it was, like, on your dining table on a vignette, or with some skull beats. Zeb, you are on point with your design skills. Skull beats in there. I should just go home and let you stage the shop. It'd be, it'd be a little more rustic than it is now. <laughs> Very industrial looking. All right, so this is a bottle. We, we painted this on like a on a thrift hall, thrift hall and it's it? been sitting in my studio. It's got a little bit of chippy paint down here. Some I don't crackles. think it ever got listed. Sally Von's wall says Saturday night will not be live. She gave a super chat today, and she said, "Oh, Have thanks, fun. Sally. Thanks, Sally." So Saturdays will be a premiere. Yeah. So we will be chatting with you, so you'll be able to comment still. We just won't be chatting with you on the video because we're going to pre-record it, but we will be there for comments. So, so yeah, so watch in the comments. We'll be chatting right there with you and, like, the live commentary, like us reacting to what you guys type out won't be there, but... We'll be typing it out. We're going to do it in our kitchen like old school. Yeah, we're doing it home, and uh, so it's actually a little painful to watch my lives again, so... Ten ninety five for that bottle, by the way. Ten ninety five for the bottle. Low, low price of ten ninety five. These were going to be for farmhouse decor, but they got voted off the island. Well, what happened is I have a lot of decor already, so <laughs> lucky you. I'm going to sell you these blue bottles. This one has a little bit of a label left. They're iridescent, so they're older blue bottles. They're not remake. They come complete with. They got lots of seating in crusty, them. and the bottoms are not like level and completely perfect, but they are gorgeous. They're all like they're almost like opalescent. Is that the word opalescent? Like abalone shells. They're really gorgeous. This one. So they're ten ninety five each. This one has the, you don't get to pick which one you want. They have imperfections in them, guys. So disclaimer. Yeah. But ten ninety five, and we have two available. They're cool. And. I'm letting them go because I have a lot of stuff in my stash, and um, apparently I've been told I have a problem. So, I mean, I don't know what the problem is, except for the fact that that side of the studio is completely full with things I'm hoarding for myself. So lately, this is what Jamie does. What? She buys all the things she thinks she might want to decorate in the farmhouse in hopes that I'll have it done for her someday to actually decorate. 
And then it go, a month goes by and another month and she finds other things that she thinks she'll like better. And so then you guys get to have your chance. Peggy Ann says, what do you think the next big thing in farmhouse decor is? I don't know. Mm. I'm going to say industrial spools. Well, we have I was going to say industrial is making a big comeback. Like you see it in a ton of restaurants and things. And people are starting to implement that in their homes. I had I had one of the inspectors ask me if we were just going to run all the ductwork and leave it exposed in the ceiling because that's what's in style. He's seen it in a few homes now. So I was like, no, I don't think that's going to fly at our house, but it's coming. Maybe if we leave the beams open in the family room. We haven't decided. I got to see what it looks like unpainted. And then I'll make a final decision. Oh, I was going to talk about these. You can talk about the masks. So we have new mask styles. This one is, I'm not going to open them because they are sanitized for your protection. $9.95 and it has apples. Can you guys see? So if you've got a teacher in your life, cute little, oh, the rolling pins are listed separately. Oops. That was my chair, not my bum. Okay, I'm super excited about these. These I can open because I'm going to take, well, I guess I ought to wait. I need to take them out of stock. New masks. New florals. These are cotton and they're soft. Uh, the other florals are like a sheet material, whatever that is. But I prefer the soft cotton. And these ones just came in. $9.95 each, free shipping. And then if you just want a simple, understated star, boom. Yeah. Stuff in the corner. It reminds me of My Little Ponies and they have the cutie marks on them. Oh, yeah. So if you just want a cutie mark of a star, but I'm telling you, these are the best ones. All right. Jane, you're you're on you're, you're on trend if you've already been doing the industrial farmhouse blend. So the rolling pins are listed separately is what I've been So told. these are all different. You'll have to go and find if like one is A or B, but they No, I don't think they're variants. I'm Oh, they're all individual. So we have the aviary handle looks so like little black dress. Aviary and white waxed is that one. That's the middle 10 one. 90, they're all 10.95. Then weathered wood, rolling pin, ten ninety five. This one I'm guessing is weathered wood. I thought it yeah. was going to be a little black dress, but it got Oops. dark. Hold on. And then there's mermaid tail and summer crush. And I think these three are like perfect for fall. And lolly lolly, I knew you would like it because you like orange. Look at that, boom. Ten ninety five. And then if you pins. really want to mix it up, you throw this one in there with it. You I know? actually think they look good together. Business, business in the front. And the mermaid tail party, party in, in the, the back. back. All right, we've got some various. Oh, I'm gonna show this. Oh, real Mariah, quick. it's not the rolling pins with colored handles. It's they're listed like each color. So summer crush, weathered wood, aviary, and mermaid tail. So just look up the color that they are, and you'll be able to find them. So this this is uh, brass, but also copper. But it has a copper band around it just to you know kind of zhuzh things up a bit round brass bucket with copper stripe eleven dollars and 95 cents made in ireland what it's funny because i got a text today is this brass or copper and i'm like wait a second it's both all right Are the candlesticks candlesticks i've got this little vase coming up we can talk to them about the we got some glass items coming at you so a pair of textured glass candlesticks 1995 for the pair we don't know if they're crystal so we're going to call them textured textured glass they don't feel heavy enough to be crystal yeah i don't know i'm, I'm not fancy enough to really know the difference unless somebody tells me this is lolly not... likes my shirt because it's got orange in it i think this shirt lolly is like 1895 so with free shipping it's very festive right now. and it's light it's like, it's like I'm ready for fall, but I still need oh, it to be light. Oh, it's pressed glass. Pressed glass, yeah. Does that make it better? Oh, I didn't know you were trying to, uh, no, I don't know. There's cut glass and pressed glass. Pressed glass, they can. They press it in something? Yeah, cut glass is a lot of sharper edges. Brown stoneware creamer, $6.95. What? It's not Fiesta Wear or anything. It's just a fun little creamer that wants to be Fiesta Wear, but not quite. I think it's made in Japan. Like, flip it over. Nope. It has a small little H on it. 
for happy because it will make somebody happy if they buy that for six dollars and 95 cents gene is on here gene what did you list these under that's listed under decanter i believe painted decanter with lid eight dollars and 95 cents it's a lot more uh lavender colored this it's showing it kind great, of bright lavender. on the camera oh you know what we have let's do we got a couple of new things in these are for christmas so these are really cool be careful oh they're wow. actual glass these are not like um they're heavy yeah so they're handmade in mexico they've got their little made in mexico sticker on their mercury glass in silver and gold and they're bl blown glass and then they they add the little hook on there and they're all slightly different i've not seen them before here's the big size and they've got bubbles in them and they're heavy christy was worried she thought they were like those cheap ones that break but they're not like they're they big. don't look like they came in individual wrappers yeah they were they were oh. individually wrapped but the glass is like that thick like you can see on the bottom up here how thick the glass is and then they hand glue the um little i'm going to bring this close to kind of show you the effect that it has it's got the little bit of bubbles in there seating but can you see as you roll that around like the different colors you get it's kind of fun i'm kind of obsessed with them and if they don't sell then i will just put that just these on my tree because they're awesome do you have a bunch my cats would see those as a challenge <laughs> Chris, christy did you not put these ornaments on there she's not mariah's not finding them Mercury glass Christmas ornaments. They are live. Let's see. I'll just share the link. Oh, maybe they, she did not make them live. It looks like. There we Mariah, go. Got it. Did Mariah get them? No, because they weren't live. Oh. They were here. So the small ones are $7.95 and the big ones are $10.95, which I think is a great place for pray, place price for hand blown ornaments. I when you're them. holding these, they this one here probably weighs almost as much as this little dish. Yeah, they're awesome. They're thick. I think that pieces like this will be trending this Christmas because handmade is kind of all the rage and mercury glass. I mean, can't can't beat that. So this is a glass bake made for sunbeam. Looks like milk glass mixing bowl. Try to say that fast. Milk glass mixing bowl. Ten ninety five. How say that? Ten ninety five. Ten ninety five. Carefully put these in there. Yep. Like these are like if they fell on your carpet, they're not gonna break. If they fell on your tile floor, I mean I don't know. And the apothecary jar, Lolly, that would be really pretty. I like it. Zeb, how would you use them? Because you're on point with decorating. Uh, how would I use these? Would you put those in one of our dough bowls that we sell? I would actually probably string them up, string them up like a garland almost. Because they they're pretty bright and shiny, so I think they would look cool, almost like uh, like on a banister or something. Yeah, I you think know. on a banister would be cool too. But I like the if you have cats, a pop carry jar. All right, so number two and three canister set for the low low price of twelve ninety five. You can get the number two and the number three. Because you know, I'm I'm still thinking about our last conversation, how much I love decorating for Christmas, love the holiday do not love putting all this stuff out and then putting it all back in as much as one might think I do. But Tell I'm very good at it. it you, you, we already talked about this. While oh, these, mm -hmm. oh, while I was away, good. All right, we've got, we've shown these before, but they're back in stock. <laughs> so these are all $5.95. We have the black stripe, the red stripe, then I think this is navy and cream. Just search the word towel. You'll and then find we it. have my favorite stripe. Red. It says red, blue, and gold, but I can't see gold in there at all. Do you see gold? No. But the listing says that, and it's, I don't know. Red, blue, gold. There's no gold. No gold. That's just what the banner said on them. And maybe something. You know, there's like hint of gold in the weaving on the clean This part. is the red cotton kitchen towel. And these are a nice, thick, heavy material. And the farmhouse, I use these ones. The trouble with these dish these towels. These are the official farmhouse towel. I like the thin dish towels, because when I was a kid, we did most of our dishes by hand. I don't recall ever having a dishwasher that did justice to any dishes. 
and the thin dish towels would get soaked and saturated and you could take a break while those ones were drying out. You didn't have to dry oh. all the dishes. These so ones these would have lasted too long. These ones you could just do all the dishes and you'd be done. I would I need my break. <laughs> all right. Anyways, these are awesome. These ones are my favorite. Five ninety five each. That's all right. And you could totally make pillows out of them because they are That's why I wear sized. a hat protects my eyes from all the <laughs> towels flailing at you all are right. you going to be moved into your new home before christmas yes uh, yeah the old part of the so. house is like once we get these floors done and the roof on it it's just going to need trim and it's ready to go like i was looking at it today with the primer on the floors i'm like oh man i'm gonna have a hard time keeping her from moving the dining room table over here <laughs> So, <laughs> Teaspoon tried to use the excuse that she was allergic to the dish soap. All right, so Ooh, these, this is a is Fiesta excuse. with a little S. We just have one. It's a divided plate. It does have a chip in it. And normally I sell these for $24.95. This one has a little chip in the back. Did you see that? Let me see. Oh, I did. And it cracks it up to hair. Wait a second. Uh, yellow Fiesta plate, $6.95 because there's a slight crack. It's Instead already of twenty dollars, right. and this one is six dollars and ninety-five cents because it has a slight crack. Is it available on the online store? F. What begins with F? Little F Fiesta plates. Frankie likes Fiesta. Have Have you been watching TV with Jack? Um, no, but we read a Dr. Seuss book, and I I love them. I love rhyming the weird words that aren't really words. It's I'm trying so fun. to. We have a competition. Jack will read a page, and he will go as fast as he can, and then I will read a page and go as fast as I can, and we just we just read the whole book like that. Jack can read everything, and sometimes he reads things I wish he wouldn't because he doesn't <laughs> really know what they mean. He just knows how to read them. All right, so the I just made the Fiesta with the divided plate live, $6.95. I put that on there. Let's get those Fiesta saucers while we're at it. While we're talking about Fiesta. It's a Fiesta. Makes me want chips and salsa. I'm hungry. Oh, we have one. I did not enjoy lunch today, so I didn't eat very much of so it. So we tried out a new uh, restaurant, and the burrito had guac in it, which was I was excited to get to the guacamole. And it was that's not the good, good stuff. And it was like sweet. It tasted almost like blueberries. I'm like, oh, that's not supposed to be in my burrito. It's All not right. a breakfast burrito. So we have blueberries. blue and yellow, and then we have orange and yellow. I don't know why there's two listings, but there are, and they're all $4.95. So these ones are different plates. Oh, the center is different. They're all little Fs, and they're all $4.95. This is the last of my Fiesta wears up. After this, I have no more Fiesta. But you had a ton of it. It's okay, because I will buy more Fiesta. You see a little different. wear from being stacked there on the back of this one but pretty good shape somebody must have bought the west haven trophy because there's only one available i actually really like the trophy and i'm surprised they haven't sold out before all right yep gene says because they are different the other ones are bread and butter plates well there you go donna knows everything about fiesta and vintage dishes i do not is this a star star bowl it has like a lot of different size though. Jean, what did you list that under? Because I don't know if she listed it under star This or... is not for cooking. This is for like dropping your keys in the front door when you walk in the house. Yeah. It's, what do you think that that's made of? This is tin and painted black. So it's a black tin, but it's like a thicker tin, right? Yeah. Like it's not thin. Oh, fluted metal dish, $8.95. Good for you for finding that. Well, it was one of the more recent ones, so it made it easy. I would have looked for like star dish and given up. Yeah, it's fluted metal. <laughs> Zeb has, you know, an interesting. Eeyore is awesome, by the way. I don't know. I missed the rest of that I'm like, conversation. Why is Eeyore awesome? But I, I missed the rest of the chat conversation going on in the, the live stream there, but I caught that. I was like, oh, yeah, I agree. It's my Tarnished favorite. silver bowl, nine ninety five. dollars Also, tarnished looks super good with any fall decor. 
I don't know if you guys know that, but if you've been hoarding your tarnished silver, now is the time to bring it out because it looks amazing with the browns and the golds and then switch it over to Christmas with like the cranberry and the darker greens. It looks good. <laughs> There's a conversation going on about how Eeyore needs depression meds. I don't know that he's necessarily sad. He just, it takes a little bit to get his engine going. Yeah, you know what he needs? <laughs> he needs some junk. Did you show these? Um, no. We have the candlestick. The thing is, I have zero clue what they're called. Mariah, do, can you find these? I, that's what happens when I don't put the things in there live chat well you were you know you should have taken a break from priming the floor because it needed to happen small glass oh i just hit myself in the head <laughs> small glass candlesticks that was i feel like we need to go get some ice cream after this and like sit down for a minute <laughs> well we have odelia's football game uh, we gotta it's it's football it's game day today yeah it's game day i gotta wear my i think i got paint i got primer all over this but it's game day 6.95 but gene what's that one listed under All right. And then this one has these little glass beads on the end of it. Almost All right, looks Mariah's like a listed skirt. It. The wooden star is eleven ninety five. Per this would be perfect for the top of your Christmas tree. What are those uh, dancers called? You you would know. You did these dances when you were a little girl. Candle that holding. Likes, they like the dress. It's, it's all about Locotico? the dress. Oh, there you go. That looks like a tutu, not a. No way. Look, there, look, I'm you spinning don't it. Wear a can, like, that's a dress that has a can-can on it. Oh. What's a can-can? What's a can-can? Is that what makes it, like, flare out and stay out the whole time? Yeah. If you guys can find that candlestick, then you can find the price. But I can't find it. Maybe Mariah already found it. Frame. Already stenciled. Can't oh. do us like this. The wooden star would look pretty with fairy lights. Yep, that one is the fleur de lis frame. See if I can find that one. Well, maybe Mariah is finding the candlestick while I find this. She thought it would be easier because we weren't walking around the shop today. But <laughs> she was mistaken. Frame. I don't. Why do we have so many frames? I don't know. Do we still? Do we actually have all of those up on the website? Well, some of them are like just situations. Stenciled frame. Found it. Stenciled frame. It is nine ninety five. Boop, done. Jamie take pictures to show. Oh, and Mariah found it too. Are you looking for them on the website? Sort by newly listed. Some of them are oldly listed though. Yep, some of these are things we've had and we put them on sale or just showing them to you again in case you forgot how cool they were. Or maybe you're new. Gourmet copper canister, $12.95. Comes complete with tarnish. This is a recent thrift, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, this is, this is its first week on the Thursday show. All right, next, guess what we got? European grain sacks. So we only have a few to show you. These are huge. Now, if Jane's still watching, she posted the other day. She, she, she made like a three or four pillows. She made some really cool stuff. Yeah, and what you can do if you want to stretch the grain sack is you can use it on the front and use drop cloth on the back, and then you can get even more grain sack pillows. I'm showing you up close so you can see the pattern on that weave and the green, blue, green, because back here it all just looks like one dark color. Um, I don't think that's correct. So this is H. Antique. I can't stop doing Dr. Seuss in my head. H, H. Grains. Big H, little H. What begins with H? These are $44 and $46.95, depends on which one. And I'm gonna, I don't know what Mariah linked, but it wasn't these. I really like the green and yellow stripe together in the middle of this. Okay, let me get this. And they do have, they, these oh, are in really goes. good shape. They do have, this is I, by the way. They do have some slight imperfections in them because they've been used. Yep. And they're thick. We also still have a bunch of American grain sacks, but these are European ones. And they come with free shipping. So that has, I don't know if you can see if the camera's gonna pick it up. In the green stripe, there's like a run of blue down in there. And that's A. All right, 
Show them the birdhouse. The birdhouse is Finally done. Got it got finished. waxed. Show it to them up close. It turned out really cute. This is using Oops. the new stencil that we have. There's four different styles of these. But this is in, what was it? Is it called Petal Pusher? Not a color I used. Petal now. Pusher, white wax, weathered wood, and then we used our new baluster um, stencil on it. There you go. Jamie knows all the words. Yep. All right. I'm just making sure everything's good. I think that's everything today. Oh, no, no. It's not. What, oh, do we have something? We have about, those oh, um, olive topiaries. These are on sale. These are the ones that Zeb made fun of. They're supposed to be $80 topiaries, but they don't stand up straight because they're so dang tall. They just need someone to DIY them a bigger base and stencil or IOD that and or then just drop put, it down No, in. really what they need is somebody just put more glue in here and they'll hold up just fine. I just never got around to it. So instead of selling them for $80 after I glued them, I'm selling them for $39.95. And you can put the glue on there. Wait for it. They're cool. I think they're, it's they're worth tall. the discount. The base is just, I feel like the base is just a little too small on them. Yep. But that's why they're on sale. So we marked them down. All right. Okay, I think that is it. Sally says, please drive safe on the way to oh. Debbie's. Is there anything else? We have oh, the chair. We also marked down the bistro chair. Um, I you always, have to put these together yourselves. They come in a box. I chauffeur Jamie around the country, so she gets to her destination very safely. So these were regularly $79.95, and we marked them. Zeb's not coming with a chair. I am. I had to set some stuff down. Coming right now. We marked it down to $59.95. When you get them, they come in two parts, and you just screw the top onto the bottom. And they come all rusty and amazing, but they're sturdy. They're rusty and they galvanized. It's got a good white age to it, but they're sturdy because they're not actually old. They just look super old. So there you go. Those are all the things. Did I miss anything else? I, I think know. we still have some cement molds. So check those out. Those are still on sale um, for 20% off. So get yourself some cement molds, pick up some joggers, some random stuff. Um, thanks for joining us, jamierayvintagehome.com, and we will see you tomorrow. We'll have a new video uploaded. We're going to have our uh, premiere of our thrift haul on Saturday. We'll go live on Facebook, and we'll do a bunch of filming while we're at Debbie's. So. Tomorrow's video should be fun because, you know, we get the white down on the floor with the primer, and there's a little bit of roof mixed in there, but we're doing cool stuff on the roof. It turned out Can nice. Can you watch Deb and I uh, try to stencil around <laughs> corners of the fireplace? At one point, I'm like laying on my stomach. It's good. It's, it's good. It's next video. level stenciling. It'll be out tomorrow morning, so keep an eye out for it. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you hit jamierayvintage.com. We've got those new stencils up. They're all in a collection together. Um, and yeah, that's it. Love you guys. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day.